We talked a little bit about Nick Chubb earlier in the year, and, and you know, you made the point, and I agree with you wholeheartedly. You, you don't want to rush him back. You want him back playing when he's as close to Nick Chubb as possible. Explains why the Browns signed Dante Foreman, one-year contract, a little over $1.1 million. Uh, Foreman, this is why he chose the Browns. So we just going through the process, you know, um, and it was stressful at times, too, because I just – I was kind of ready to get it over with. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I had a couple options, man. So once I, once I weighed my options, I just feel like, man, this would be a great fit for me. Um, you know, just seeing the team uh, that that's here and the defense. Like, I, I had a chance yeah. to play against that defense last year, man. So that was crazy. I, I was able to feel, you know, how those guys um, was playing and, yeah. you know, how, how they're flying around to the football. So, uh so I was very intrigued about that. And then also just seeing the weapons and everything that, you know, that we have on the offensive side of the ball as well too, man. It's it's just it's exciting, you know, just every 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 piece that's here to the puzzle, man. It's exciting. So I'm I'm looking forward to it for sure. Yeah, and uh, Fred, remember the Browns got a first hand look at the type of player Foreman is. Uh, he was running against him against the Bears. He alluded to that. Um it's a guy I like I, I liked the signing. He he gives you something that you didn't have in your other running backs. Other than Nick Chubb when he's healthy. <laughs> yeah, well, he's going to assume the Kareem Hunt role. Kareem Hunt, you know, former NFL rushing champion, kind of evolved last year into the short yardage back, and he was good at it. I mean, he had they put him on third and one or third and goal or fourth and goal. He had nine touchdowns. He had the two touchdowns in the playoffs. But he was clearly, you know, not – you know, the, the elusive runner in the open field that he had been prior. And I think Foreman, you know, is that what they were looking for? I had him as one of my options. That was one of my steps to get back is I didn't feel like you wanted to rush Chubb and you didn't want to go into the season with just Jerome Ford and a, kind of an unproven Pierre Strong. So I expected him to draft a running back or add a veteran and a Foreman. You know, in a little over a million dollars, they're not married to him. Doesn't have that much guaranteed. So it allows Chubb to come back on his timetable, but gives him a veteran that has done a good job, you know, in, in his time. And he'll be motivated in the time in there. And so I think all the way around, it, it's the type of move that I was expecting the Browns to make. And I think they're going to still run the ball. And... And you want somebody that can get you that first down. So I think, yeah, I think that it's it's uh, if you would have went out at the beginning and there were some bigger names in free agency and and if the Browns would have went hard at one of the big names, you know, you, you would start to doubt what what's their commitment to Nick Chubb. I heard they were they were interested in Zach Moss, but they backed out when when they were only offering like one year. So to me, that was kind of good news looking that maybe they felt better about the possibility of Nick Chubb returning. I'm sure Foreman, somebody they talked to in the early going. And then, like he said, he looked around at his options and getting a one year prove it deal with the Browns is what he felt was the best. And I think, you know, it's a high upside with low risk. Yeah. And you're, uh the the comparison to Kareem Hunt a, a really good one I I I see that and um, it makes a lot of sense uh, for them to add that um, in conjunction with Nick Chubb 